This is the plaintiff, John Saunders. He says he brought his car into the defendant's shop for a muffler repair. And when the mechanic lowered the lift, the car crashed into a welding tank, damaging the fender. Due to this gross injustice and damage to his car and the refusal of the defendant to pay for it, he's suing for the $1,321.21 he's owed. This is the defendant, Matthew Matai. He says the plaintiff's a mechanic and he's been doing work in his garage for 20 years. The plaintiff put his car on the lift himself and then lowered the car himself. He never told him the car got scratched and never asked him to pay for the damages. Then a month later, out of the blue, he gets sued in court. Oh, this money-hungry ingrate, $1,321.21. Hardy, har, har, har. He's accused of scratching a guy's ride. All parties, please, at your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're John on. Saunders, you yes. are suing Premier Performance Auto Tech, represented here by Matthew Mathai. You're the owner? Yes. Okay. For $1,321.21, the amount you say it's going to cost to fix your car due to their negligence. Tell me what happens. Uh, I'm in a repair business myself. I've been in it for over 50 years. I have eight ASE certifications attended General Motors schools and have uh, actually six cert cert uh, certificates of merit. So why did you go to his place to get uh, the car up on a lift? Judge, it's cheaper sometimes to farm out and outsource work than to do it in your own shop, especially with specialty work like exhaust work. They have all the pipes there. They have all the gaskets there. And it's something that I'd have to buy. And if you uh, need to mend the pipe, I don't have that... Uh, uh, accommodation in my, in my particular shop. Judge, I've known this man for about uh, 15 years, and uh, I've never known him really uh, to be uh, very uh, truthful about anything, really. Then why are you going to get work done there? Well, he had a very good man working there that I knew that was doing the exhaust work. And um, when I brought this car in there, actually it was my car, and uh, I brought it in there, when you say it was your car, would you also do business with this shop? Yes, uh, I had, uh, there were jobs that come in that need pipes to be bent. Right, so you would take all that business yeah, to Yeah, I them. would send it down to, okay. to him or... And are your shop, do you own a shop? Yes, yes. I do. Yes, and then your shop is nearby his? Uh, not really, it's, uh, I'd say, about uh, five or six miles from, him, from, okay. from his shop. All right, so go on. And uh, I happened to, I brought my car in here at the time, I, and I had the, uh, the muffler with me. And I needed uh, an, a pipe to be cut and to be bent properly. Okay, the steady man that he had working there, I was told was on vacation. That was a bald-faced lie. Yeah, he's not working there anymore. He got himself another job. And uh, they had another man there that I've known for quite some time. Uh, he's a general mechanic, really has no real expertise in exhaust work. So then why did you put your well, car in a lift I, uh, or gave have the him do it? This was an easy job, Judge. Okay. It was just a question of putting a muffler on and uh, cutting a pipe and just welding in another pipe. Well, it's a job that should take about a half an hour. It took about two hours. All right, after the job was completed, I know you, this is hard to believe. You don't have to be a mechanic to have common sense. Uh, we, the car is up on a lift. Before you lower the lift down, you make sure there's nothing, absolutely nothing under that lift. He was welding what they call acetylene tanks. They're two tanks. They weigh about over a couple of hundred pounds. He was people. welding what? Uh, Your he, car? The car that you had? At yeah, he was okay. welding uh, certain things on this, on the pipe going to the muffler. And he was using the uh, acetylene welder to cut the pipe, the old pipe off. How big is the, the, the machinery that was in the oh, way? Oh, those tanks, uh, oh, they were good. Uh, Show me with your hands. I'd say about. Show me oh, with your hands. About this, about, about this tall, both of them. Okay. And there's an oxygen and tank. And how wide? And then you have an And accelerant. how wide? Oh, I'd say about this wide. Okay. They weigh about over 200 pounds a piece. Okay. And they're on a cart. You could wheel these tanks to any position you want under the car. So, so what happened? You, well, when you lower a car, you, you wheel it away to make sure the car don't hit it coming down. I'm about 20 feet from this car. I'm in the middle of the shop. And uh, he has one of his employees... A young, Who's, some young... Hey, wait, hold on. The mechanic has another employee? Yeah, there was another employee of his standing behind the car at the time. Uh-huh. Okay? Now, 
I'm about 20 feet from this car. And I know, and I'm watching it come down, I'm, and I'm yelling, hold it, hold it, stop. I could see that the car is going to hit the tanks. They didn't wheel the tanks away like you're supposed to. It hits the tanks, Judge. The tanks fall onto the quarter panel of the car and the door, crushed it. I mean, crush it bad. Can okay. I see the damage? Do you have a picture? I, I don't have the picture, but I have an How estimate. How did you not have the picture? I have an estimate. Are you kidding me? How do you not have the picture? Well, ju Judge... That's what I'm talking about. No, that's not what you're talking about. You're not going to win just because he doesn't have a picture. I'm just surprised you don't have a picture. Well, Judge... Because from the beginning, you said what? you need to pay for this, and it was, you know, kind of... Well, he not... was standing right he was standing Yeah, right but do you there. hear me, though? Do you have a telephone? Yes, I do. Does your telephone take pictures? Yes, it does, yes. Okay, it's not just for nasty pictures. It's also for evidence, and... Because I, so, I have to know you're not trying to milk this. Okay. I need to know the extent of the damage. And you've taken away my liberty to look at the extent of the damage by just giving me a piece of paper that could have a super blown up damage estimate. That's what I, as a judge, have to watch out for. Well, but the part that. that's really upsetting me is that you're in the business, so you know that you want to take pictures, and then you don't take a picture. The fact is that he saw the damage. And I thought that he wouldn't be so you know, dishonest as to say nothing happened to the car or it didn't happen to the extent that it happened. You know, I mean, I, I, you know, again, I've known this fellow for 15 years. Who did your estimate? You? No, George, <laughs> I, this was uh, a body shop that did it. Okay, hand it to my bailiff. Let me hear from you. Were you there yeah. when this happened? Yes, I, Your Honor. We don't have no case here. <laughs> I don't know why <laughs> this gentleman over here wasting my time. I think he's a banana. The reason that I'm saying he's been, he's been coming into my shop for 20 years. When I say 20 years, 20 years. He bring the car in, he put it by himself. He Wait, what do you mean he puts it by himself? He's a mechanic. He yeah, I just said he's a mechanic, but he doesn't take the car to do exhaust work at your place and work on the exhaust himself. He doesn't That's why he drove six miles, right? I, I understand you. Okay, wrong. so but your guy was working on it. Yes. Right? So what are you saying, that he's the one who put his own car on the lift? On my and lift. Then oh, just oh, a life. second. John, let me have an no, opportunity. No, don't talk to him either. Oh. Don't complicate. My no, that's not how court works. Okay. So are you suggesting that you allow customers to operate your lift? Your Honor, he's not a customer. He is another mechanic from yeah, another mechanic is, shop. Is he an employee? I, no. Is he covered by your insurance policy? Uh, no. Does he pay you for you, the work you guys do for yes, him? Yes, he does. Of do. course he does. All right, so tell me how he's not a customer. He is a mechanic from another mechanic yes, shop. Yes, I know. So normally when John comes, since he's coming in here for 20 years, I give him the courtesy to come in inside okay, the shop. Okay, now tell me this. Who did the exhaust work? John? No. Okay. So no. who left the machines there? Who le because we do. He's not supposed to be there to begin with. Okay. So why do you let him do it then? Because I don't have a gun in my shoulder, in my hand to, no, to tell him not you, to Have you ever asked him not to do it? Of course we do all the time. I thought you said you let him do it. Cause because he's a he mechanic and he's been there 20 yeah, years. Yes, we give him the courtesy. As a then John you're is give, are you giving him the courtesy or are you asking him not to do it? Which is it? No, he bought it in into the shop. Do you hear what I'm asking? It's not what did he do that day. That's the answer to what did he do that day. You have, in the same minute, said, we give him the courtesy because he's a customer, and said, of course I've asked him not to do it, but I don't have a gun in my hand. Those two things are not consistent. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So this guy doesn't bring pictures of the damage. Intentionally not bringing pictures, or is it just, yeah, I forgot, I just inadvertent. Intentionally not Why do you say? Pictures. Because he was lying about the damage that was caused. But is it possible that you just don't know much about court and you wouldn't bring pictures, or is that intuitive? I mean, it just, like, when, you're go when you have to prove something, you bring pictures. Like, you know that. So do you think it was intentional? It's, it's very hard to believe. It really is. Something so critical, you'd think you'd remember something like that. You would think, going inside the courtroom. I'm talking about he's been coming in here for many years. In the beginning, I asked him, he said, Matthew... I've been coming in here for what years. What is your testimony? I, that he lowered the car himself? He lowered the car oh, by himself. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Who's the gentleman who's with you? His yes. name is Jimon. He was the manager. Step behind? Yep. Okay. Were you present when this happened? I'm sorry. I've, I, uh, yes. You were actually present and saw him lowering the car himself? Yes. Oh. Okay. Now let me hear from you. Yeah, when he was coming in, I was in the office. and just... so, If you're in the office, can yeah. you see what's happening? I just come outside when there were some noise. I just come out on outside that it was coming down. The lift was coming down. So who did the work on the car? 
who did the work, the exhaust work on the car? The why, why is this so hard? No, did no. he do his own he, work on the car? No, he's trying now, to... No, I'm not asking me. you. Oh. Don't coach him. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Who did the work? Yeah, actually, I, I exactly did, didn't saw that. Okay. Yeah. So when you come out again, you see what? Yeah, the lift was coming down. Okay. And who was operating the lift? Um, I, think, uh, I think he was operating the... Uh, Are you positive because you're swearing to this under oath? If you're not positive, I realize that's your boss, but I need you to tell me the truth. Yeah, it was the truth. Okay, I, which is it? That yeah, because you think of the sound, I, I come outside. I think he was up, um, lifting down the lift. What did you say to him? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't say anything because there was, they were talking. Who's so, they? Yeah, he and the other, other mechanics. Where's the other mechanic? Why isn't he here? You asking me? Um, yes, I am. Okay, he's no longer work here. When did he lose his job? About uh, right after this happened. No, about uh, I would say about three week, three months ago. When did this happen? This happens in July. So, um, does he reach out to when? When do you get involved and discuss it with him? Uh, about uh, the accident. He didn't say anything about that particular day, nothing. The car don't even worth the $200, Your Honor. Okay. He uh, sued me for $1,300. The car don't even worth the $200. I don't have a picture of the car. I what don't kind have of car is this? 1994? Oh, my Lord, it's as exactly. old as my marriage. Exactly. Wasting my time here. Yeah. Well, I don't know that he's wasting I should be time. working right now. It's a mid car. Yeah, well, yeah. You know what? You didn't have to come. You could have sent the actual mechanic. It would have been good if I could talk yeah, to him. Yeah, but if he was Do you have an affidavit? Oh, no, because that guy doesn't work for you anymore. But did you try to get a statement from him? Oh, uh, no. Okay. I mean, if he fired, you know, he's not going to come back and give me a statement. Why was he's he not... fired? Because he's no good. If he was good, he would still be working. Mm -hmm. Why would anybody pay $1,300 to fix a car that's not worth that? Because it's a 1994 Toyota Camry. Judge, you understand I would that, right? Judge. Shh, no one's talking to you right now. Go ahead. Judge, Camrys bring a very, very good resale. This car what proof in, do you have this that the car car's in the book, in the book is worth this $2,500. Is yeah, the metal yeah, price oh, is down. Hey, hey, look. No, no, I told you to stop talking to him before. I don't understand. Yeah. Right? Stop talking to him. The, Thank the you, car Dennis. is worth $2,500 in Prove a blue that. book. In a blue book. Prove that. I don't have the blue book with me, Judge. Yeah, I do, and it's okay. not worth $2,500. Judge, when I brought this car As luck would have it, I have a blue book. Judge. So, and I know it's not worth $2,500 in the blue book. Go ahead, next. He's coming in here and claiming that I lowered the lift. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I never touched that lift. Okay, first of all, whether he lowered the lift or didn't lower the lift, or whether you allow customers to raise and lower your lift, okay, this is a fault with the way you operate your business. You shouldn't be allowing customers, I don't care if they're a mechanic, to, to, to raise and lower your lift. And I'll have to be honest with you, I kind of don't believe that because I think that would affect your insurance rates. And I think that you should That's be. Right. You sh <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You I, 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 no, I want you both out of here as soon as possible, so I'm gonna rule right now, okay? You should not be, ha either you're negligent in allowing customers to raise and lower lifts, or, which I believe a lot more, particularly since the employee was fired, that the employee raised and lowered the lift, okay? That's what I believe happened. Uh -huh. But here's a problem you have. You have a credibility problem with me. You're bringing me a, an estimate to repair the car. I haven't the, seen I, that estimate. I don't care. You can see it after I rule. I do not want you interrupting me again. Oh, sorry. Okay, an estimate to fix a car, which frankly is probably not probably, is higher than what the car is worth. You don't bring me any evidence of what you say the car is worth and why, and the worst part, the very worst part, is you don't bring me a picture of the car. What? Because that's not a mistake. That's on purpose. That's on mm. purpose, okay? No, 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 why? No. Because you want this inflated yeah. amount. Uh, so here's what's gonna happen. Judge, I'm, no, I'm, I'm telling no, you the truth, Judge, no, believe me. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to take a lie detector test and pay the state I don't state care for. about your lie detector test. I'm <laughs> sure you believe a thousand percent, if that existed, uh, what you're saying. But, you know, your reality is because not is reality. No reality Judge, oh, my goodness. Judge, if this happened And to my therefore, I rule in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of $400. Verdict for the plaintiff. Goodbye, gentlemen. Well, the plaintiff gets $400, not near the amount he was seeking. Mr. Mathai, you called him a banana when he came into because court. Because you heard the but, whole conversation. But he won the case. Because, I don't know, because I said, this is America. 
It yes. is. Yeah. yeah, and in the, in the metal, the the car he talking about, yeah. it's not even worth a hundred dollar because the metal price went down. It used right. to be seventeen well, look, cents. Can't worry about four hundred dollars. That's all he got. Okay, I gather you. T- you're, he's not going to be using your shop anymore, right? Uh, he not will the be way there. You're believe, in believe, here. believe me, he's <laughs> okay. a fifteen years mechanic. He'll be Thank there. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Saunders. No, he no 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 love lost between the two of you anymore. All right. Well, uh, uh, Look, the judge, I think, really had it with you. I don't know, but bottom line is, you only got four hundred. You okay with that? Well, it's better than nothing. But I told Absolutely. the truth and nothing but the truth. You see, and okay. I was up against a pathological liar, and uh, apparently, uh, I didn't bring all the evidence the judge wanted to so prove him right. a liar. You're right. You're right. Evidence yeah. would have helped you a lot. Yes, it would have. Sorry, but about I thought that. this was would suffice. Very good. Okay. Thank have you very nice much. Day, sir. You must sign some documents. Harvey, once again, evidence was the key here, right? You know, look, I I agree with this guy that you would think it's intuitive to bring pictures. It's so critical to the case. Not bringing them is a deal breaker. And that will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.